Well, uh, good afternoon. Uh, this is Asif Raza uh, from Arsa Study Consultant, Lahore, Pakistan. And the first of all, a lot of blessings on like everything on you and your family. And with me today, I have the guest of uh, Mr. Papos, my uh, university from the University of Watch from Poland with me. And he will introduce about himself, then university, then the program and uh, then how to take admissions and all other I mean parameters related to admission and the visa. If you have any questions in the query related to all these things and you can ask and write down here so we will give you the answer. First of all, the first in the first session we will introduce about all these things about university and the program or everything. Yes sir, please it's your time. Thank you very much. Thank you for the introduction. Uh, I'm glad to see you uh, and I'm glad to be on this session uh, because I have some information I wish to share um, yep. regarding, as you said, the university itself, the uh, country of Poland, probably not well known uh, around, uh, in your region even. Uh, but hopefully after this meeting uh, you will have some uh, more more uh, information about us about uh, even uh, eastern europe region about possibilities right. of studies in poland about the uh, program offer visa issues etc so uh, right. let's go on uh, as um, mr asif told yep. already that my name is Mieczysław. And my surname is Pakos. I am from the University of uh, Łódź. In Polish pronunciation, it is Łódź. In English pronunciation, it is Lodz, uh, because we are located in the city of Lodz in Poland, which is the third largest city in uh, Poland. Um, maybe we can start to share my screen. So, uh, I, because I've prepared some small presentation about my higher educational institution. As you can see, um, there. Are young uh, people who are studying here from different countries and um, our motto is united in diversity uh, means we are uh, very different as the university not only among students also among teachers about uh, uh, among our academic society uh, we were ranked at the third place the last two years uh, uh, in poland uh, as the university with the highest number of international students okay so we have almost 3000 of them uh, including uh, degree programs as well as exchange ones um i can tell tell you all the names of this young beautiful people uh, but probably you will not rem remember it so uh, i will just stop at this information that we are at the third place in poland with the highest number of international students right after the Warsaw University and the Krakow University, which are first and second uh, universities located in first and second biggest cities in Poland. So uh, Warsaw is the biggest city, then Krakow and then Lodz at the third uh, place. Uh, let's go on about my city. We are the capital of the region located in the central part of Poland. Um, located in the uh, past uh, centuries, but the development of the city starts late, uh, at the beginning of 19th century. And we were a very huge textile hub for many, many years. Uh, only after the um, 90s, it has changed because uh, we have changed the economic system. Uh, so uh, our factories uh, falls down and we start to develop uh, IT business process outsourcing companies here also um, in uh, former uh, buildings are located some apartments office centers malls etc so we are fast developing for right now with not only the uh, industry which is textile industry which was like um, only the one industry developed in our city in the past we are developing uh, other other possibilities also home appliances are presented here um, so many many international comp companies are investing uh, regarding our population it is as for now 700,000 in the city and almost 1 million in the 
lots of agglomeration. Um, but um, we are not only the industrial city, we are also the cultural center. We have the many festivals. Uh, we are the city of fourth culture of the nations, which stayed here in which uh, from the past. Poles, of course, uh, also Jews, also Russians, also Germans. Uh, and important thing, we are the safe city here in Poland. Um, there are not so many crimes. Um, of course, uh, somebody can uh, stole, stole something from your pocket at the train station or in some um, place which is well uh, well uh, visited by others, but in every city in the world it may uh, happen. Uh, so, as I told you, we are the city of Ford culture, city of festivals. We are in the center of Poland. We are the huge city um, around it by the motorways, highways, also railways. So it's easy to travel from here to other destinations in Poland, but not only, also in the uh, central and eastern Europe. Uh, so Germany, Austria, Slovakia, Hungary, Ukraine is easily accessible from here. Uh, we are the city of modern te technologies, but we are also very green city. We are the city with the uh, highest green territory uh, in Poland. Yeah, so we have a huge forest here in the almost in the city center and man many parks, etc. Right. Uh, so we will go to the university. As you yeah. can see, we are the young university founded right after the Second World War, and we are the state means uh, public financed university financed by the government um, it also means that we are uh, following all the national regulations um, we are typical classic university means we don't have medicine or engineering uh, okay. so humanities social studies uh, exact uh, sciences are present here are president uh, present here uh, we will go to the program in a moment, the programs. Uh, so basically we are 13 faculties, um, 12 of them are located in which one of them in, is located in the countryside. Um, almost 3000 academic staff works here, um, 24,000 of students among them, 3000 are international ones. And as I mean, as I as I mentioned, we are at the third place in Poland in terms of number of international students. Right. Uh, um, few years ago, we started the campaign called University Diversity. Um, so uh, the reason we've started, we wish to show to our academic community, to our local community, and to other others um, interested about our university that we are very diverse because we recognize that it's our advantage because many young people uh, many um, academic staff from uh, abroad are coming here to make their researches to um, start their academic and endeavors so we are proud of them and we wish to so uh, to, to show them to the whole world Okay. Um, as you can see, we are also diverse in the education. We have almost uh, 100 programs with 166 specializations, over 15 programs taught in English language, so it is possible to study in English. Um, we are in the top um, of higher educational institutions here in Poland. Um, depends on the study field rank on the third fifth, sixth place. Depends also also from the year, but as I mentioned, we are at the top together with the University of Warsaw, Jagiellonian University in Krakow, Poznan University, Wrocław University. Yeah, so I've named right. some most most uh, popular. Uh, what is important, our degrees are um, created in cooperation with the um, business uh, with business partners, that it's international and Polish companies that had headquarters here in Łódź and practice from that companies are uh, shared to our students uh, by the top managers, by the CEOs of that companies. So we 
are sure that students are prepared not only theoretically to their future job, but also in a practical way is uh, important. Okay. Uh, at this screen, right. you can see our faculties. So basically, as I mentioned, social humanities, exact sciences, biology, chemistry, economics, philology, philosophy, right. physics, mm -hmm. computer science, mathematics, geography, educational science, law, political studies, and management. Um, I will uh, tell you in a few words about the studies in Polish because it is pos also possible to study not only in English, it is possible to get a preparatory year in Poland, which is the preparatory okay. course of uh, nine months with uh, uh, 600 hours of Polish language uh, connected to. Okay. Uh, if we are talking about the English degree programs, you can see it uh, here. So basically bachelor's degree, business management, computer science, economics, international marketing, management and finance, and international and political studies. Right. Uh, also at the master's degree, it's quite similar. We've had some small uh, programs in philology, which is English studies and uh, in biology, which is environmental protection with the specialization of ecohydrology which is okay who studying who is studying here can uh, join our uh, mobility programs uh, we are the mm. part of Erasmus plus uh, program which is most common program in Europe um, right. every students is going abroad with the scholarship. Um, mm -hmm. We have on over 1,000 partners across the Europe. Also, we have our own programs, which, which is bilateral agreements, means you can go to our partners, not only in European Union, European Union, but outside to study there for a semester or a year for free. Uh, we are also part of Compostela Group. We have uh, partner programs with our Japan universities, which is Mizuta Scholarship. Um, but also we have other possibilities. Okay. Uh, we are sending more than 600 students uh, abroad for one semester, uh, every okay. semester. It's, uh, okay. in my opinion, it's a huge number and we, we are one of the leader of the mobility in Poland among universities, of course. Oh, yeah. so, right. Right. so as I mentioned, it is also possible to learn Polish for one year before starting your studies. Um, there are people from uh, every part of the world, from South Africa, East Asia, uh, South America, uh, coming here to Poland without zero knowledge of Polish. And after one year, they are able to start their studies in a uh, Polish medium. Yeah, um, and that is because uh, our school is most known and most uh, well pre and well prepared. Our teachers are well prepared, and they are teaching Polish language as foreign ones, not only like the. In example, if you are learning English at the at the school and high school, then you are you know this language, right. and we are we we are teaching young people who already had their background. And we are supposed to uh, give them the knowledge of Polish language at B2 level in one year, one year, which is, in my opinion, very difficult, but possible. Uh, Polish language is not uh, easy. Yeah. Right. Um, but if you will go outside, um, a lot of people are speaking English. So it is not a problem to communicate at all. Maybe some older people are not so fluent in English, but as for young ones, it's uh, like common to use English uh, in their job, uh, in their uh, normal everyday life. Right. 
Uh, we are also student-friendly university. What does it mean? Uh, we wish our students to be well prepared for the job market in the future after finishing the degree, after getting our diploma. Uh, we offer right. during the studies internships, trainings, uh, job fairs, uh, career counseling by our career center. Best okay. graduates are getting uh, mentors from our famous graduates, famous people in right. Poland. Uh, every right. student can apply for a grant if he or she has some great idea to realize uh, in scientific terms, of course. We, uh, he or she can get a grant from our rector to realize it. And also we are uh, giving our students a lot of cultural culture, cultural events, uh, not, not in the city only, because I've mentioned we are the city of festival, but in the university uh, inside. Okay. Right. Uh, uh, we are working with our students directly in person by our advisors. So um, if you are coming to the university uh, here in Łódź, the University of Łódź, first you work with the admission officer as I am, because I right. for seven years I already work as an admission officer. Then you okay. have your uh, coordinator at the student's office. Uh, at the faculty so every administrative issue you can contact to the student's office uh, also right. you can have career advisor you can uh, obtain a psychological support if needed uh, or some um, as i mentioned cultural uh, trainings uh, cultural sessions trainings etc uh, also we offered a paid internships um, what does it mean? Uh, our students can uh, earn some money because it is possible to work in Poland with a student visa. And I think it's important uh, for yeah. you to have some right. job during your studies. But in my opinion, uh, it is very hard to uh, connect job and studies during the first year because the first year is crucial one and it is the kind of test of student. Um, right. After one semester, you will know is it this university suitable for you? Is this country suitable for you? Is this program suitable for you? If you will uh, finish first semester successfully, then of course you can work. But in my opinion, uh, finding a job during the first semester or in some cases during first year uh, is uh, it, it will be a problem uh, for you because um, as I mentioned, connection with studies and jobs is very hard because first year is a crucial one oh. for bachelor's and for master's yeah. degree as well because you're from uh, you're traveling from other country here to Poland you have to uh, um, get an accommodation you have to understand what's going on with your studies what's going on with your life because probably you have settled some settled um, uh, part of uh, even even your uh, daily daily schedule yeah it will change in just uh, one moment after crossing the border after going out from the airport uh, because you have to attend the classes you have to uh, cook for yourself you have to uh, buy groceries etc so it is hard to manage at the first semester at least right uh, Regarding the infrastructure university, we have our own library with uh, 3 million volumes, so it's not needed to buy any books. Uh, everything is located at the place at the campus. Uh, our campus is well connected to the city center and uh, we have our own dormitories for almost 4,000 places. So every student who wish to get a place has such possibility. Uh, we have our modern right. conference center of sport and physical education after this also the uh, sport team of the university if somebody makes sports it also gives you uh, some additional points when calculating director scholarship because after the first year every student can apply for director scholarship which is not huge but for student every amount in my opinion is is important uh, right. So here you can see your accommodation facilities, uh, as I mentioned, 10 dormitories with, uh, in double rooms uh, with direct access to the kitchen, uh, to the shower, um, at the 
sport center of sports and recreation there are different sport disciplines you can train um even during physical education classes because they are obligatory here in uh, poland Got it. right uh, uh here you can see our facebook we are publishing there what's most important to our as international students mostly because we have facebook also in polish language so facebook.com slash polish university you can join us and contact data are provided here uh, so i'm right now open to all the questions uh, so passing the floor to mr well, thank you for this great briefing i'm very thankful to you and we listened to all things very carefully so I'm going to start some questions. The question is here in my uh, screen and also in my summary in my uh, my hand. I'm going to ask the first question with your permission. What admission criteria? What are the admission criteria or the percentage for undergrad and the, for the more, um, and the postgrad like master's programs? Mm -hmm. So for the and bachelor's the degree admission. For the bachelor's degree, admission criteria are simple because we are looking into the specific subject and the high school living certificate. We are not looking at the uh, average grade because for bi biology studies, it's not important to know history. And uh, we are okay. looking for the specific subject. So if you are going to study computer science, so we will look for math for physics for astronomy also english language for most of the programs if you're gonna study uh, chemistry then of course biology chemistry physics english language so some subjects will be um, universal for most of the programs some of them will be different for master's degree uh, you uh, we we are taking into account the average grade from the bachelors so if you are good enough uh, during the bachelor i mean there is some specific cgp is a result of like required from the bachelor degree the master mm -hmm. admissions we do not it's have any specific the... ones because it's different depends on the program uh, we have programs where we have uh, in example six candidates for one place and we have programs where mm -hmm. only two of them so the cgpa will be different for every program we can contact with the specific um, candidate okay. uh, regarding Is there a specific requirement program. for the undergrad students for the undergraduate students as i mentioned um, good grade in the subjects uh crucial for that uh, for that program mm -hmm. okay uh, the second requirement for the admission for bachelor and masters as well postgraduate as well uh, is uh, english proficiency we wish students who are b2 level with ielts or tefl if ielts it's 6.0 if tefl is 87 points at least uh, also, some other certificates, which uh, are PTE, like PTE ECE. Yeah, one like Dolingo, PTE, Oxford test. These are tests that are acceptable for yes. admissions? Uh, it's acceptable. Uh, not uh, uh, Duolingo is not acceptable. Duolingo is not. But PTE, Oxford, British Council. Yes. Yeah. Uh, this list of, uh, is available on our webpage. If you wish, you can ask Mr. Uh, Raza so we can uh, pass this information through our study consultants. Um, third requirement, as I mentioned at the very beginning, is to be diverse because we wish to student be open minded. So okay. it's I know it's the personal characteristic, but we wish to student be open minded and open uh to the world we wish to uh, educate uh, citizens who will develop develop our world to be better yeah okay what are the like fees requirement from uh, like annual fee do you require annual fee or semester based one student is uh, accepted by university um okay so let's let's go to the tuition fee for most yeah. of the programs it's 2500 euro per one academic year um in my opinion it's not too much uh, if we will compare to western europe countries or us or canada uh, uh sorry 1250 
yeah right. um it is also required uh, to have some amount uh, of money at your uh, bank account when applying for visa as for now this amount is around 90000 slot in euro it is almost 500 500 okay. 5000 euro 5000 euro 5, so what do you say about what is the duration of admission how much seriously takes time for the uh, for for the for admission clearance I mean interviews there is some interview from university side or without interview and how much total time he required uh, could you repeat please because the connection was very poor and something was interrupted okay. yeah. it's question related to duration of admission how much time required for admission from university mm -hmm. okay um regarding the time after submission of all required documents in our admission platform which is so the first stage is online fully online you will have a decision of our faculty uh, mm -hmm. in two weeks after these two weeks uh, we are expecting candidate if everything is positive if the decision is positive we are expecting okay. candidate to pay the fee uh, also in two weeks you can do it of course faster if you wish um and then only uh, we are issuing a document for a visa sending to the uh, embassy and sending also to you in original by traditional post so uh, you have a time to apply for visa regarding the uh, dates of admission we start at the beginning of may this year to the 10th of may uh, till middle july so this is the time to uh, create an account in our admission platform, upload all the documents, um, also to pay the tuition fee if the decision is positive. And then you have a time uh, from middle July to late September to apply for a visa to uh, manage um, your fly, to manage um, other things you have to do uh, before, before uh, leaving Pakistan then um, you are arriving to Poland at the last day of September because study starts at the 1st of October. It is required to be here before the first day of studies, which is 1st of October. Okay. Is there any admission interview? I mean, Skype or the video interview from any faculty for admission purpose? Uh, as for now, there is the Skype interview only for business management program at the master's degree, which is postgraduate ones. Uh, so uh, there is uh, the such requirement presented. Uh, for other programs, um, it is not required to have an interview. One of our students asked, name is Raja, he is asking about it that someone is a last semester of BS, computer science. So can he apply for the master program on the HOPE certificate, HOPE letter, because he is in the eighth semester, last semester? Uh, unfortunately, still not. You have to finish your bachelor first and uh, receive the bachelor's degree diploma. So we can admit only a student who has his diploma already issued. Okay. When the student yeah. the university offered the final admission letter, after paying the tuition fee, that accommodation is included in that, that uh, I mean, offered by university in the mansion? Mm, the no. Mm -hmm. No. Uh, tuition fee is just the tuition fee for educational services. Accommodation is paid after arrival to Poland. Um, it is, um, if we are counting in euro, it is around 100, 120 euro for month depends on the dormitory if you wish to stay at the dormitory if you wish to rent a flat it's uh, from 150 to 200 euro mm -hmm. um, so basically for the university dormitories uh, it is possible to have it paid after arrival mm -hmm. regarding the tuition fee uh, because i probably know the next question about the refund policy right refund definitely, definitely. Yeah. So the refund policy is uh, that re uh, tuition fee is fully refunded uh, in case of visa rejection. Um, then there is only the admission fee of 20 euro, which is non-refundable. So it is the fee for verification of the documents for the job with your application. Um, if you 
are accepted if you've paid the tuition fee uh, go to the embassy it goes to the embassy and you got a visa rejection then the tuition fee is fully refundable okay i know that one question is asked by student named tanvir uh, he is going to he is going to ask but i'm going to just put on your uh, on your table he asking about that ielts is a two type of category one is a academic second one is a journal I know general mm -hmm. training is an a GT is not acceptable for the academic purpose. So, is there any chance to university accept GT IELTS format? We accept both general and academic. You accept both? Yeah. Great. So, thank you for it's uh, it's added in my information. As for my knowledge, all uh, all educators, all institute require in IELTS in the format of uh, academic. So, I'm very thankful to and thank you, Tanvir, you asked this question. And thank you, sir, Paco. Another thing is embassy interview. Do you give us some information? Embassy interview. One of student asked Mohammed Manan Aziz. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, they are interviewing students for the purpose. You are going to Poland um, before getting a visa. So it look like, looks like you are submitting. Uh, first, you have to book a visa appointment at the embassy. Then. Uh, be present there at the specific date, specific time uh, right. given by them for the interview with all the documents, I mean educational ones with the acceptance letter from the university, uh, with the sponsorship letter or bank account uh, confirmation that you have enough financial sources. Uh, after the interview, visa uh, decision is made into uh, weeks, up to 14 days. It's due to the law regulations here in Poland. Yeah. Uh, and after 14 days, you can just, uh, they, they are also giving you a specific date to uh, come for the decision about your visa application. One question, thank you for this answer. One question is, yeah, how much time is required for refund of the tuition fee? One of students asked. Um, we are making all the refunds until middle November. If your visa rejection is made in example, uh, late August, so plus 30 days. It's, if it is middle September, so plus 30 days is middle uh, October. In some uh, cases, it's middle November because we do not have enough data from students because we need to know where to transfer your money. It's not only the account number, it's also uh receiver name surname address swift sense etc one student asked thank you for answer one student asked arsa is your official representative so can we apply through arsa or directly to a university yes sure you can apply through the arsa study consultants we are uh in the process of signing of agreement but we are cooperating from the last uh year we met on icf as i remember with mr asif so uh, we were discussing this issue regarding the admission for a few times already. So uh, they are well trained and well prepared to start your application. Ask, is there any any other representative in the Pakistan? No, you are the only representative at the Pakistan at this moment. Right. Someone asked a question about the part-time job during study. How many hours is required, and what are the percentages or the possibility uh, of the jobs in a watch city? Third point related to this question, how much a one student can earn during this one month or 20 working hours per week wage or something? Please explain us uh, all these three parameters. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, regarding the job, as I've already mentioned, you can job without any limitation of hours or amounts uh, during, if you have a student status. Uh, but okay. It's not suggested to start your job during the first semester. So no limitations in terms of uh, our number of hours in terms of the wage you can earn. earn. Uh, regarding types of jobs, a lot of students um, works in pubs, in some, uh, in example, factories in the production of home appliances. Uh, it's more common thing in which also um, kind of restaurants. So typical students jobs in every country, every student city in the world regarding the earnings um, hmm, minimum weight in Poland is is for now 3000 slot which is hmm, if I'm counting right 700 euros so it's the minimum wage so if you are working full-time 
uh, eight yeah. means eight hours per day. It's uh, around 700 euro. Regarding the Wait. cost of living here, we yeah. count it's around 500 euro if staying in the dormitory because the dormitory cost is 100 up to 120 and right. 300 up to 400 for student spendings means um, meals, means some groceries, means um, a transport ticket, etc. Of course, this amount is different for everyone. So uh, we have students who manage to stay for 300 euro. We also have students who don't manage to stay for 1000 euro. Yeah, it's very individual issue. In, if you are staying at the dormitory, uh, not going to the restaurant every day, it's around four up to 500 euro. Okay. What do you say? One of student class, one student has completed his studies, either a bachelor or the master's. What are the possibility of the PSW, post-study work, or for the long term, uh, what are the possibility to long term stay in Polish, uh, Poland? What do you say about it? Uh, after master's degree, you can after apply for the... Degree. After master's degree, uh, you can apply, in example, for the uh, uh, doctoral studies in the frame of doctoral school, which is four year studying. Right. If you are interested in the academic career, uh, yeah. doctoral yeah. studies are free of charge, um, but uh, you have to be well prepared uh, uh, at the very beginning because the there is the huge number of candidates for that type of studies. Uh, you have to uh, already has some academic um, achievements. I mean, conferences, publications uh, in scientific journals. So it's the only one possibility. Other possibility is um, we are calling it after uh, after diploma studies for one year. In our university, we have only two programs. Unfortunately, they are partially Polish, so you have to uh, learn Polish first. Um, other possibility is to apply for the um, work possibility in Poland, but my suggestion is to do it through the agency. Okay, work. one of the question asked, thank you for answer, right answer. What are the current situation of the Poland uh, due to the war of the Pol uh, Russia and the Ukraine at this time? So what do you say? Is there any effect on the Poland and study visa, university, embassy? Mm -hmm. All these uh, parameters are included in this question. Please explain us. Yeah, I know. this. Uh, it's hard to say how it affects Poland. Uh, for sure, it affects Ukrainians who are our neighbors. And uh, from the full of heart, we are helping them because we've already, uh, we are already guesting here over 2 million refugees from Ukraine. Uh, and they are not staying in refugee camps. They are staying in our houses. We are uh, giving them a meal, we are giving them clothes, etc. because they are traveling only with one bag on their uh, neck. So, um, how does it affect Poland? As for now, uh, it affects only a uh, little bit economic situation because we have to spend a lot of money on the refugees. Uh, some infl inflation has uh, rate uh, has rate uh, raised during last two months. Uh, but how it uh, if you are asking will it affect Poland uh, in the military sense or political ones? In my opinion, no, we are a part of the NATO alliance. So we are uh, sure we are safe here. Um, we are just um, human being for our neighbors, Ukrainians who are fleeing from the war zones because not whole Ukraine is right now in the war zone. There are some Western regions um, does not affect it uh, by Russians indirect. I mean, um, there are some bombings, um, but at the east of the country, east of Ukraine, it, the situation is very hard and we uh, hope it will finish soon. If you will ask me one month ago, is the war between Russia and Ukraine possible? <laughs> My answer will be for sure, no, Putin will not do that. But it happens, yeah, and we are right. trying to tell all the members we are staying safe here in Poland. Right, thank you. If student asks the one question, if the once student is rejected by Polish embassy 
and can he apply again question number one and can he has to refund his tuition fee then submit it to fee or you can defer that admission to the next intake please mm -hmm. explain this. uh if you got a if you got a rejection um you of course can apply next year um regarding the uh, tuition fee you've paid for the first admission uh, we have to refund it until i mentioned the date 15th of november um so you have to start the whole process uh, from the beginning next year at may beginning of may we cannot uh, any way postpone the admission for the next year okay mean, yeah, so you have uh, to do all the process again I mean student uh, university will refund the tuition fee until the 15th of november am i right yeah yeah due to any circumstances or the exceptional case if student get a result from a uh, polish embassy after 15th november due to some so there is any extra deduction in the tuition fee uh, um as i've mentioned there is the uh, date of opening of the academic year which is 1st of october means we are expecting students will come here um till last day of september usually all of students uh are coming at the last week of september to get accommodation to uh, see what's going on in the city at the campus so it is not possible to come if uh, your visa was uh, issued after the first of october okay is there any extension available for example if a class is going to start on the first of october and uh, maybe in some exceptional case student will get the visa on 10th or 15th and he will immediately fly there is an extension uh, time in classes there was such kind of possibility during pandemic as for now i'm not sure is it possible or not because we are gonna to uh, start the academic year in normally even from the first of april we are canceling any um, restrictions i mean masks and uh, um, isolation etc due to due, uh, connected to COVID um there was such possibility so uh, during the first or uh, first one week or two weeks uh, students were doing kind of online classes so it was possible but i'm not sure how it will looks like from the uh, october this year okay so what do you say about if the student is doing a bachelor in business administration in the pakistan and he has completed three or the four semesters or two can he he, tra he or she can transfer to his study from one program pakistan to one university to your university and start furthermore or he can start from the on the as in fresher mm -hmm. uh, we suggest to start uh, the freshman uh, because transfer is very hard and individual procedure depends on the uh, dean's decision uh, the dean of the faculty has to calculate the academic differences which is usually unfortunately very huge i mean the number of subjects which is different from the program in pakistan or any other country country and here in poland okay one of student asked if he get admission or she someone get admission from polish university mean your university so he can apply as a spouse visa uh, embassy entertain the spouse visa or what are the chances of the spouse visa? um in uh, uh, as the university we can issue only a document for a student so uh, right. we had such situations in the past um asking for visa for spouses but we are uh, as i mentioned we are the public university we can right. act only based on the law so you can issue uh, student documents only to the student not to the spouses or any other relatives so in my opinion it is very hard to come to poland if you have spouses and they wish to travel with you to our country okay thank you for answer one student named sharon asked the question uh, can we apply for the more than one study program at what time like for example i'm sending uh, admission into the university of what so can I apply two or three different program and pay the three different application fees or one application Mm -hmm. uh, you can apply up to three uh, educational programs then the admission fee is uh, doubled or tripled so means admission wow. fee is 20 euro 
So if you wish to apply for two programs, it's 40 euro. If for three programs, it's 60 euro. Okay. One of very important question related to embassy and the student asked the Polish embassies, uh, embassy is very busy this year after a number of years. So uh, after, uh, I mean, like two or three years, I mean, so can you university help to, to set the appointment in embassy? There is some, some, I mean, rights, the university can send email for, for, uh, particularly, is, is there a chance to support us? After the admission deadline, we can send a letter to the embassy uh, with mm -hmm. the uh, list of students successfully admitted and asking right. for the help. Sometimes right. it works for uh, embassy, in example, it works last year in uh, Uzbekistan, some years ago it works in India. Uh, probably uh, it will not be a problem. For sure we can send uh, uh, a, let, uh, a list of students admitted to the University of Wuch asking for help to get an appointment. Well, very, very great. Thanks for, I think all questions are cleared now in, in my table and I, I, I also from this, uh, this uh, I mean, small session from the Mr. Pakos. Well, uh, if anyone asks the question, so definitely I can ask from sir. So uh, this session is the first session. We, we hope we can do this session sometime in a Pakistani time in the evening or late on evening. I know it's it's uh, after in the evening time in the uh, it will be evening time in in the Poland that is a more active and you can prepare your all the things. One question someone asked again. Sorry, last question. Mm -hmm. uh, your admission started in first of May. Do you think it's a late because we need if we get the admission in proper time, so we are not able to get proper appointment in embassy. So what will you do? Can you do it, uh, I mean, a bit earlier? Uh, unfortunately, we cannot do it earlier due to the um, admission regulations uh, we have to follow. Um, in my opinion, if you are planning to apply to the University of Łódź together with the application to the university, you have to start your um, you have to start the process of getting an appointment to the embassy together at the same time. Do you, do you need any attested document from student for admission purpose or some no, normal document attestation from authorities or, or different different departments? So, um, if we are talking about the uh, you're asking about the legalization kind of legalization of the documents, right? No, no, no. There's no legalization. It's it's from the attestations of over over document for example one student get bachelor intermediate from specific board or from university so we have one department higher education right mm -hmm. so we attested over document from over there or the ministry of foreign affairs do do you require some attested document or without attestation for, for the, mm -hmm. for the bachelor's degree program we require the documents uh, the document called eligibility statement it means that uh, your high school living certificate gives you gives you a right to apply for the bachelor's degree in pakistan due to the future recognition procedure in poland because it's obligatory for bachelor students um, so our board of education here uh, local ones in lots has to confirm that um, your living high school certificate allows you to study good right so um, thank you if you tell us more information so it's okay our question is uh, almost complete and i'm very thankful to, for this session you give us time Mr. Parker, and from uh, thanks from all of our viewers and the watcher and uh, we will plan for the next session and the session will be a pure in evening time and a lot of questions we will be and we will advertise it so give us some time again in after 10 or 15 days okay well thank you for your time thank you uh, my, my, my uh, all viewers thank you have a good day so thank you thank for you. your attendance and have a good day too bye 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 sir